Hello and welcome back to the Wii U 5. Give me back my daughter. Do my review and you'll have her. It's very simple. I won't do your review unless I know my daughter's okay. She's okay. She just can't talk right now. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Sales. Ping 1.5 Plus is brought to us by the very awesome studio called Nami Tentu. They are just amazing with some of the most talented developers in the world. It's not just one guy, not at all. This game wasn't made by one guy, trust me. I'm not under duress or anything right now. Ping 1.5 Plus is such a joy to play. It's just so simple. I mean, it's super simple in a good way though. You simply launch this block and make your way to the orange thing. It's super fun and super effective. There aren't some imbalanced level difficulties or anything, nothing like that at all whatsoever. There also aren't some odd user interface issues navigating the world selection. Just because you can't zoom out any time to select a level doesn't make it a bad game or anything. It's great! The choice of using either the stylus or the left analog stick doesn't result in different ping behavior either. The two are perfectly exactly equal. There's also an absolute rush of euphoric joy when you finally solve a level. So much joy. Just so much. There also aren't some levels that have mysterious ways of challenging you that result in simply being best beaten entirely by luck. Some levels make a lot of sense and are laid out in a way that ensures you can succeed if you try. And some levels are laid out in a way that ensures you can't succeed without spending an exorbitant amount of time. But that's totally the best thing ever! I'm not being forced to do this! The content in this game is mind-boggling, totally exactly mind-boggling. There are just so many worlds to complete, so many more worlds than is necessary, but it's like a bonus you never knew you wanted. You don't get tired of the concept after the first several worlds because it's just so refreshing to see the diverse backgrounds. There's no such thing as too many levels, never, not at all, when the concept is just so fresh and relaxing. I didn't get a little tired after playing through the fifth world or anything, it just stays so interesting the whole way through. The content is amazing. Two thumbs way up. Completely my own thoughts at the moment. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like a super massive 8-bit eyegasm. There's just so much graphics on display here. This game tops the best in the entire video game industry, displaying so much shaders and stuff. There's just so much going on on screen. So much, in fact, that the frame rate dips dangerously low, but that doesn't affect your enjoyment whatsoever. Not at all. Not at all. Don't let the frame rate stop you from enjoying the blockiness, the joyful eye candy of blockiness. And the music, don't get me started on the music. It's got some fat beats that you're really going to enjoy. I think I'm losing my mind here. I won't lie, I totally feel so great about this game. There's nothing wrong with it, it's like some sort of perfection magic, made by one guy, er, I mean, a large team of very talented developers. The sales are low, not because the game is mediocre, but because people are just crazy. They don't know what they want. Ping 1.5 Plus is perfect gameplay. It's not imbalanced between levels and imbalanced between the stylus and analog stick. And also more content than you would want to shake a stick at. Not that you won't get bored of it quickly. And the frame rate dips, those are just frosting on the cake. It's an overall fun time killer, but it doesn't not have flaws in just about every department. I give Ping 1.5 Plus a 10 out of 10. There, I did your review. Now let me have my daughter. Not until you've done second review after patching what? the January. A patch? Relax. You have all the time in the world. Your daughter is in good hands. I don't have all the time in the world. But what I do have is a particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. And that's how Call of Duty gets its review scores. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and of course subscribe for more Wii U content delivered directly to your retinas. See you next time on the Wii U 5.